Yo, what is up guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I wanna talk about a mod that I did to my 370Z to keep my oil temps down. I did this mod, I think about two to three years ago before I even started YouTube, so I never got the chance to really record it. But I wanna show you how it's installed, how it looks like, how it all works. That way, if you guys are interested in picking one up, um, you guys can go ahead and do so yourself. So let's go ahead and go over to the front, uh, look at the oil cooler, and we're actually gonna go ahead and do an oil change as well. That way you guys can see the process and how I do that. So let's go ahead and jump to the front. All right guys, so here's the Mishimoto oil cooler on the car in most cases the oil coolers are pretty much the same when it comes to um, the design how it looks how it's routed where it's connected to so as long as you pick one that's a pretty good brand um, you shouldn't really have a problem um, i've had mine for about three years and i haven't had a single issue uh, the only problem that i have is something that i actually did myself how i routed the lines so i routed mine right here to the bottom I went ahead and added zip ties through the hole right there so I can go ahead and lift it up a little bit, but it was sitting a little too low and it kind of damaged the line. It didn't go all the way through, it's not leaking, but it just has the um, rubber exposed. But I think it would be better to try to reroute it through the top, that way it's not really hanging through the bottom right here. Um, it does come with a few things. So it's a total of two brackets that it comes with. It comes with the oil cooler itself, and then the two lines that connect to the bottom with the fittings, going all the way down. And it goes right there, connected to the oil filter. And it comes with this plate right here. I'm going to go ahead and take off the oil filter right now once we unplug it. What you essentially do is you go ahead and take off the original um, oil filter and then you tighten up a bolt to thread the pitch that's already on there for the filter and then it attaches this on there as well to create a seal. And you want to use a 14mm socket to loosen the bolt that's at the bottom uh, which is that one right there. Alright, so while we're waiting for that to drain, it does take some time. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the splitter. So I went ahead and repainted it. It is looking a lot better right now. And then I did actually paint the crash bar right here. With the new brackets that I installed from the previous video. So if you guys haven't seen that, go ahead and check it out. It looks mm -hmm. a lot better. And now we're just waiting for the bumper. Uh, once it's all done, we're going to put it all together. So I won't be putting the crash bar on until... I might get my bumper just because it does support the uh, splitter. So I, I'd rather not put it on until everything is done. You want to go ahead and remove the oil filler cap right here. Um, it's pretty difficult to take it off if it's on there good. You can use one of these. And then you're just going to put it like around the middle and turn it. And it'll come right off. And then here's the oil I'm going to be using. 5W30. Um, if yours has more miles, you usually want to use the... I think it's called like the extended life for high mileage oil. Uh, mine only has about 60,000 or 50,000 miles on it, so I don't really need it. And they only had this oil filter. I've never used this one. I think I've had like KNN, Mobile One is the other one that I've used, but I've never used this one before. So the code is usually the same, a 6607. And right now we're just gonna go ahead and wait until it completely drains. Alright, so there you guys go. That's how the plate looks. Attached to the third pitch from the original oil filter. And then now you can attach your new filter on top of that. And then there are the two lines that are attached to it that go to the Vishimoto oil cooler. So that's kind of how the system works. It's a pretty simple design. So it's easy for any of you guys that want to do this. It's a really simple install. It doesn't take really much. The system is uh, finishing draining. So we're going to go ahead and clean it up. Um, attach our new filter. And then I'm most likely going to take off the... Um, lines to clean up the filter since I haven't taken it off in a while.
right guys so that's the process that i go through in order to remove all the old food from the car um you don't have to remove the oil cooler but i would recommend doing it just to take out all the old oil because whenever you leave it in there it just mixes up with everything else so if you do remove it you do have to add a little bit more oil of course if you are doing this from the start um if you don't add oil into the oil cooler when installing it you might leave like a little bit of a gap when it comes to your oil but just make sure you check it i actually ran my car for a little bit but i didn't actually drive it and then i would check it the next day just to make sure it's at the middle level when it comes to your dipstick so just check it the next day uh, but other than that it's a pretty simple install there's a lot of oil coolers that you can choose from you do not have to pick the mishimoto one i feel like all of them do the same thing but there's several aftermarket ones that are available and also larger ones there's even a bigger oil cooler than this one that is meant for like racing or on the track so if you are planning on tracking your car, I do recommend going with the bigger one. But for daily use, I think this was a really, really good one. There's even a smaller one than this one that's about this big. The one that I have is, I would say, a little bit bigger than this. And then you have another one that's even like bigger than my head. And that's how long it is. Um, there's different options available. I'll go ahead and scroll through them right here if you guys are interested in picking out a different one. Um, they all have different prices. Usually, like the off-brand ones are a little bit cheaper. So you have um, Z1 Motorsports makes one, Concept Z, Mishimoto, Stillin. C trap or Z trap, not sure exactly how you say that one. And then there's a few other off brand ones that you can purchase as well. It doesn't have to be that exact one. I'm gonna leave a video right here of me driving my car, but when I'm driving normally, I'm just cruising. I'm usually averaging about 180 temps. Once I push it, it gets closer to 220. Now, before when I didn't have the wheel cooler, I'm not even playing around, I was getting close to 260. So the temps were getting like over 240, getting close to 260. But now with oil cooler, I don't ever go over 220. I have not seen it go over 220. And I'm in Arizona, so if you're like in a different state where it's a lot cooler, you might not have that problem. But yeah, that's my review on the oil cooler. I 100% recommend it for you guys to pick it up. It makes a big difference on the car. It performs a little bit better. I'm not sure about you guys, but for those of you that don't have an oil cooler, um, I can actually feel the heat like from the engine bay on my feet. And it honestly was kind of uncomfortable. That was when the oil tents were really high. And then after installing the oil cooler, I haven't had that issue at all anymore. So that's another reason I actually like it a lot. I'm very paranoid, so I'm not sure if you guys are the same way, but whenever I see the oil temp gauge going up, I'm like, nope, it's gotta slow down, gotta cool it off. It's gonna pretty much keep that peace of mind when it comes to your car, making sure that it's okay. Since we're on the subject of keeping your car cool, believe it or not, these vents that I have right here for the 370Z, they actually do help out a bit as well. Um, when I'm driving, I can actually see the heat from the engine bay area going up through those vents and I can see like little waves of heat. So that does help out a lot. So if you guys are interested in picking out a hood, I do recommend it as well. I'm gonna do a review on the hood as well because I haven't done one. Um, I actually picked up the hood as well before I even started YouTube. So for those of you that are interested in picking up this hood, I'll make a review on that as well since I had it for like over two or three years. Uh, that's going to conclude the video. Hopefully it helps you guys out. If you guys are interested in picking up an oil cooler, yes, I highly recommend getting it. There's no reason why you shouldn't get one in my honest opinion. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, make sure to like, subscribe, hit that bell notification, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.